Hi, everybody. Welcome to May. Um, time for a few videos and uh, our May wine drop email. Uh, I promised for a while to get a Gruner Veltliner in. I, uh, I mentioned it last month, too, but I had, was able to get access to the Eopetus, uh, which was kind of a fun and polarizing wine, I know, for, uh, for a number of you out there, but um, generally positive. Um, so Gruner Veltliner, I love. I love Gruner Veltliner with spring vegetables. If you are a vegetarian, eat a lot of greens, eat a lot of vegetables. It's a wine that you just really need to know about, a grape you need to know about. Uh, native to Austria. And, and, I, and I was looking at like a number of different really great versions in Austria. Uh, it's also a grape that's done well now here in northeastern United States, other cooler climates too, uh, northern Italy. And so, um, so what did I do? I settled on a Gruner Veltliner from California, which almost seems a little um, opposite of uh, of the way one should go. Uh, Tatamer, and it's called Mears Bowden Gruner Veltliner. Uh, Graham Tatamer grew up in Santa Barbara area, and that's where this wine comes from. Uh, he worked in high school for Santa Barbara Winery and got the wine bug there. Just you know, what he thought was really an after school job. Went to college to become an English major, thinking that, you know, they need people to write more um, interesting stuff about wine. But if you look at his website, it's very minimalist, which is, uh, again, kind of kind of amusing. Uh, but, but he really came to like Rieslings and other cool climate wines. And when he decided to become a winemaker, working for different wineries in California, he started to seek out really cold climate parts of California, which again, doesn't sound like they exist, but there are pockets there in the country where a lot of these, where a lot of grapes have been grown for a long time too. Uh, and again, Riesling, people don't think of Riesling as a, a California wine. In fact, a lot of California Rieslings tend to be very flabby and un Riesling like but he started making single vineyard Rieslings from these, these plots of land that he found uh, and buying the grapes from growers. Highly rated, very classic in, in style. Um, he, he also uh, spent a little bit of time in Austria, not just to learn about Riesling, but winemaking in general in cold climates. And he worked for a, a wine gut Knoll, K-N-O-L-L, -L, which may be arguably the premier uh, Gruner Veltliner producer there. And he came back and what he did with Riesling is, is what he's also done with Gruner Veltliner. He's found a few single vineyard sites and he has, um, he has made these really fabulous wines. And it, uh, you know, again, so I, I looked at, I looked at some Austrian uh, examples and ended up with California, uh, Santa Barbara County specifically. Mears Bowden is the name of this one. It's kind of his entry level, uh, if you will, on the, on a Gruner. It is, um, very classic in its kind of lime and citrusy notes, uh, kind of a lentily nose and smell. And, and the other thing that marks a uh, Gruner Veltliner is a white pepper taste. And, the, and he has all these classics in this uh, that he's able to extract in the making of this wine. Uh, I used this for a um, an event a couple weeks ago. I did a private party where the uh, it was a birthday party and all the food was either seafood or um, or, or vegetables, um, one, of the, one of the people involved in the party was vegan, or some combination of the two. And, and I got to tell you, I, this wine actually just kind of blew people away with some of those seafood vegetal uh, pairings. And, uh, and, and you know, it's great with a raw bar. Again, it's great, especially great with spring vegetables. And I'm kind of looking out my window here and everything's incredibly green because it's been raining. And, you know, th this is what with spring peas, this is what you have with uh, asparagus, with, uh, you, you know, all, all these really fabulous things, you know, with ramps, with, with um, uh, you know, whatever, whatever you're associating your, your spring green vegetables uh, with. And, and, wine, and, and food, actually, that tends to not pair really well with a lot of wines. Uh, it really sings great with, with Gruner. So if you eat a lot of seafood, if you eat a lot of... Um, uh, you know, this is a wine I would have with sushi too. You know, I, I think at this party, we were, people were also drinking it with raw bar, um, with crudo. So, I, I, and in fact, I think this is a salmon crudo we had with this, and it was pretty incredible. So, um, so what I would suggest is um, 
put Gruner on your list if this is the kind of food that you you eat. Um, you know, think of a, like a lentil salad. Think of any seafood over a bed of lentils and greens. Uh, a regular salad. Uh, you know, you know. Again, I can just run down the list of all these great vegetable dishes that are happening right now. I had a dish at a, a restaurant in the city uh, a couple of weeks ago that was very simple. Um, morels. No, not that simple. Morels, white asparagus, spring peas, and pea shoots. And um, and and I, they didn't have a Bruner by the glass, but I would have in a, in a heartbeat paired it with that dish, especially because it was like in a light citrusy uh, cream broth and. Uh, you know, just just really, it was, it was spring in a plate, and and to me, Gruner is spring in a glass, especially for white wine. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. I think it's um, I think it's going to be a good one, and it's a it's a grape I've been wanting to put on your radar uh, for quite some time, and now that it's spring, um, I hope you enjoy it.